think we're also live on uh, Instagram. If you're joining us live, let's know your name and where you are joining us from. Yeah, we're live. This is the very first edition of our Love and Relationship series for 2022. This is the third season. Wow. I'm so grateful to God. Third season means the third year. And you all have been very supportive. If you're joining us live, let's know your name, where you're joining us from. My name is Rookie Penel. If you don't know now, you know. And I'm joining you on this edition. I'm bringing this edition to you from Zurich, Switzerland. Let's know what city you are, what country you're joining from. And let's just know that you're here. I have a, a very in interesting topic, uh, which was posed actually by um, a lady to me during counseling. And I just thought, hey, it's better to bring it on this, you know um internet space so that we can get as much uh as possible uh people to discuss with us okay nice to have you i'm nice i'm very happy that you could join me let me know your name and where you're joining from so we're discussing today he is a good man but i have no affection for him is it okay to proceed this is the question this lady posed to me and I'm, I want to talk about that today. I've already seen some people on our WhatsApp group uh, post some really nice advice uh, concerning this. So if you're joining, I want this to be interactive on Instagram, on Facebook. Let me know that you're on live. Let me know your name. I can see people waving um, on, face, on, on uh, Instagram. On the Facebook, I bet you're there too, but I don't see right now um that anyone is commenting you know uh, i see now i see um ip khalil i see your 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 comments you said why was the need of proceeding i like that i like that okay so guys comment more i can see i'm very excited now i can see the facebook comments finally yeah i've always struggled to see uh live comments and if you're joining on i can see Bobby water i see a couple of people are uh, from Babi Wonder or something from Mushi. That that's Nigeria, Lagos. I'm happy to have you on. Invite as many as you can to join us. This edition is gonna be the bomb. We have just roughly about 15, 20 minutes. So I already got a first response. What's the need of proceeding? Um, a, a majority of those who actually also commented on our WhatsApp group said the same thing. Um, someone else said, don't miss a good guy by letting this go. What do you think? What's your own um, opinion? Please drop the comment below. Um, this lady is asking me that I, uh, the man is a good man, is a good man, but I have no affection for him. Is it okay to proceed? Um, okay, I see, I see if Khalil writing more. I see no reason why you should continue when you don't have affection for someone. That's wickedness. Ooh, that's hot. That's hot. Who else is joining us? Let's know your thought. What do you think about this topic of today? I don't, I, I, he is a good man. The topic, the discussion is, he is a good man. Um, and I, but I have no affection for him. Should I proceed? That's very powerful one. Pastor D is in the house from Zurich. Nice to have you on. First question she needs to ask, this is on Instagram herself, is, is it good, is it God that asked me to be in this relationship? Wow. Because only good and perfect relationship comes from God and it comes without sorrow. Woo -hoo -hoo. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That's a powerful one. Baby Wonder, now that's a very powerful one. Guys, keep it rolling. I'm excited. I, I can see you're all helping me today. I can see that that's a powerful one, Baby Wonder. Is it God that Oh, wow. <laughs> this is all interesting. It's true because every good and perfect gift comes from God and does not add sorrow. So if you have no affection, if you have no um, excitement in a relationship, just like if Khalil asked, what's the need of con continuing? What's the need of being in the relationship? Hey, all the way from South Africa, Google, Nosam Kele. I'm so happy to have you on. Zanibe Chechu. I wish I can just greet you in some South African language. Mm? <laughs> nice to have you. Nice to have you on Google. What do you think, Google? I see that you just joined us. What do you think about this topic? So a lady posted to me in counseling that um, 
the man is a good man that she's in a relationship with but she has no affection uh, for him and that uh, is it okay to continue for those who are just joining us let us know your name where you're joining from my name is Ricky Penny for those who are just joining or watching the replay and I'm bringing you this edition live from Zurich Switzerland it's a dark gray cold day here in Zurich and so if you're living in any part of the world that's sunny please enjoy the Sun on our behalf Ah, uh, <laughs> I'm reading some nice and interesting comments here powerful powerful what's the need to proceed okay guys you who have joined us what what do you think and i'm gonna throw in my two cents as well um i'm gonna actually give my expert advice because a lot of people get trapped in relationships like this just because one partner was good to them and they feel oh i can't break his heart that's how the lady actually sounded like he's been so good to me he's been so nice he's been so caring um and i just don't want to break his heart hey listen up you're already breaking his heart by not having a genuine affection for him so the earlier you get out of that relationship the better and i know i know that the feedback a lot of people will give is that oh you can't miss a good thing make sure you don't miss this chance and all of that but i'm telling you a lot of people are trapped in unhappy marriages because they ignored this red flag of affection now two years ago i believe i brought a powerful couple you know who came into the relationship because their parents might make them and I asked them that what did you do obviously there was not did you love each other during that process they said no they didn't um, but the matter was taken out of their hands I, I didn't know that in modern times parents still you know might make people and it works like this is working they're called the family I'm trying to remember this couple the husband is Philippines Filipino and the wife is from um, is from Kenya anyway long story short they, if you look in the videos of uh, our videos of 2020 you will see uh, this couple uh, Ocampo that's their name family Ocampo you can actually follow them on um, YouTube and the guy and the lady said at first it was not love it was not affection but the more they get, got to know each other um, they began to have feelings for each other um, and now long story short they have four kids they recently had another baby you know so yeah I'm not saying that there will be no such exceptions to the rule but I'm telling you generally from my experience in marriage counseling and relationship counseling a lot of relationships um, started because somebody was afraid to break somebody's heart um, when they knew they already saw the red flags while they were cutting you know during the courtship stage they already knew that mm, this person lacked you know that physical attraction um, that usually every relationship needs at, at some point you know to bring the spark again um, a lot of people start to doubt their marriages two three years into the relationship and they said oh I never really loved him or her uh, but I just was afraid to break their heart let me see the other comment okay if Khalil is right I think is if Khalil is gonna be the star of today I feel he has been a good man to her because of what she's derived from him let him know your thoughts about him then if he's okay with your emotions or okay with what you feel about him then you're not being selfish and greedy that's powerful let me see somebody else um, first question she needs okay no that was the same one um, before Mark Richard just joined us and is waving I wave back to you on Instagram if you're joining let's know your name where you're joining from um, if Khalid, that's a powerful one, and I, I want to expatiate on that. So what he is saying is, be truthful, yeah? You know, let your partner know that I don't feel the same way, you know? I watched the film uh, recently, and that's what the guy said to the girl, that please go find your own happiness, because I don't think I'll ever make you happy. You're too good, you know, to stay stuck on me, because uh, I just don't have it. You know, I don't have that feelings for you it's not about you it's just that I don't have the feelings and that's what he's saying that if he's a good man you know um, because he likes you he, he sees you know you as being what he needs but you please make sure you don't lead him on or her it might be a, a, a man also it might be on the flip side make sure you don't build a relationship on falsehood I always tell people make sure that the foundation of the relationship is based on transparency especially with your feelings if you're not feeling that you know that that electricity that feeling of you know um, being in love with someone let them know you owe it to them at least if they say oh it will come later or I'm okay as long as you know whatever then you know that at least you know you told them um, but I still want to also lean on what Ibi Wonder said on Instagram that at the end of the day why are you in the relationship how did you get to the relationship was God the one leading you into the relationship 
or your own um, greed. It might just be because the guy, you know, pays your bills. You never know what's going on. And this is also an advice to the guys as well, that if you're in love with someone and you're, you know, spending your time, your affection and your money on someone, you want to make sure that at least, you know, they, they reciprocate in a little way, you know, don't throw your happiness into the ocean of your own blindness. You know, they say love is blind, but honestly, as soon as you get married, your eyes will open. So you, you want to apply you know mind to the matter you want to apply your thought process to the matter of falling in love falling in love is good it's usually very necessary in the initial stages you know um, but then again your thought process has to be engaged you know and um, your voice as well just like if Kali said let your partner know what you're feeling I'm in this relationship because you're good to me um, I'm in this relationship because you know I like you uh, but I don't love you I don't I'm not in love with you because love um, is actually a decision, the, the kind of um, emotion that keeps a marriage working in the long run is not on the fleeting, you know, chemical reaction of being in love. In as much as it's necessary in the initial stages, you know, of marriage, your mind and your thoughts, you know, um, the decision you know that you made about the relationship by yourself is usually what keeps the relationship long lasting when the, um, the tribulations of life and the, the, the rain, this rainy season of life hits that relationship. You want to be sure that you are very open, you know, to your partner about how you feel. Um, I've seen people, like I told you, of the Ocampos who didn't start on this hormonal being in love thing and they ended up being a very solid couple but at least they were very honest you know from the get-go everyone knew everybody's stand you know not that you're leading him on uh, because you don't want to break his heart usually it's just because you don't want to lose your meal ticket or the things they give you um, or, or on the flip side if it's the guy as well um, it, it, you know that she doesn't love you um, but you want to proceed just because of whatever you want to be in a relationship uh, you don't want to you know disappoint your friends or your family or whatever at the end of the day your happiness is very important and there has to have to there has to be that warm fuzzy feeling um, that made you say I do in the first place you know apart from the things you know about your spouse I always tell people that the kind of love that makes marriages last is what is called the agape unconditional love and this love is not a feeling yeah so I, 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 I'm very um, cautious about this topic today because it looks contradictory when you say, oh, the love that keeps a marriage long lasting is not based on feeling. Yes, it's true. It is based on a hard decision you had to make, you know, considering the quality of your partner, con considering your compatibility, your goals in life and so on and so forth, your family background, your training, your raise, um, your, your, your upbringing and so on and so your faith, you know, in God. And, and so on and so forth. That's the hard fact that will sustain the relationship on the raining days of life. However, um, the affection we're talking about is like the icing on the cake. It's like the fuzzy feeling, you know. It's like the catalyst of the decision-making process. It's what makes you um, remember those good old days and want to do something to save your relationship, your marriage, when the storms of life come. So it is absolutely non-negotiable except you are sure, just like, you know, our contributor um, on Instagram said, except you're sure it was God who brought you guys together. And for some reason right now, uh, you don't feel the hormonal, you know, falling in love thing. And um, you, you're willing to stick it out because you're very sure that God brought you together. That's what the Ocampos actually told me when I interviewed them two years ago. They said they were sure um, that it was God who brought them together. And because of that, um, that was all they needed, you know, eventually the falling in love came, you know, so, but you see, it still came, you know, at some point it will come. Falling in love is usually, um, it's usually a reaction, you know, to atmospheric conditions in a couple. So you fall in love with someone because they are nice to you. But if you are saying be, they are good to you and in spite of their being good to you, you still don't have affection for them, there is fire on the mountain. Please run. Honestly, don't lead this person on. Because usually 
when people are nice to you, it brings up that fussy, you know, tender feelings of being in love with them, you know. Um, and if in spite of their being good to you, because that's the topic, the man is good to you, but you still don't have affection for him, please run. Please leave the man to find someone who will love him. Dr. Ali Muhammad is joining us from India. Nice to have you on. Nice to have you on. I, I, I see that if Khalid do, dropped more comments, ma'am, would... Would have loved to stay with you to the end of this show, but unfortunately, I can't stay uh, for a long half things to Nice to have you. Nice to have you on. Um, thank you for those powerful contributions. Yes, he is saying I should tell you, lady, not to be selfish, because if the man gets to find out later, that will be hazardous to the relationship. It's true. Please be always open in your relationship about your feelings, about your plans for the future. Um, if you want a long-lasting relationship with your spouse, if you want a long-lasting marriage based on mutual respect and trust, you always need to stay transparent. Okay, so I'm not saying that um, every case where there is no affection will not work. Like I told you, I had guests on this program two years ago, uh, Family Ocampo. You can Google them. They're on Facebook. They're very active on Facebook, on Instagram, and on YouTube. And their story didn't start with affection. It started with decision um, made by God on their behalf. And today they are happily living ever after with kids. Okay, nice to have had you join me. Everyone who joined at Debad on um, on Instagram. Instagram. For those on Instagram, let's know where you're joining from. It was very good to have you on. Uh, thank you so much, everyone. I just wanted to bring this opening edition uh, for 2022. I hope that you remember that this is our year of harvest. So it means everything you've been expecting and working hard towards, uh, this is the year you begin to see the fruits, you know, of your labor. And may the favor of God be upon you um, in your personal life, in your relationship life. Um, may solutions come to you this year. May you live in light. May you be saved from every harm and hurt. And may the Almighty keep you under the wings of his shadow so that peace and prosperity will follow you wherever you go. Um, Google is writing, it's true. If you don't love the person, just move on and leave that person. Thank you, Google, uh, because I don't think you will respect him or her or give him or her what he or she wants. It's true. You know, everyone deserves genuine love in life, including this lady who raised us. So if you don't have affection for this person and you know it's not God bringing you together, I, lo I love that comment on Instagram. Please run. Please go. Release this person. Let them find their happiness and their own uh, life partner in another place. Okay, guys? So this edition, I decided this year to address issues more that are practically brought to me in counseling. And if you have any relationship question, please don't hesitate to drop it uh, or send me a private inbox. If you need help with your relationship, this is a new year. If you need help uh, in order to achieve your relationship goals, I have years of experience in this industry and I'm very available uh, to be your coach, your relationship coach or mentor or counselor. So don't hesitate to contact me. Uh, you can get in touch with me on WhatsApp if you prefer that on this number plus four one uh, seven seven two two zero six six four six plus four one. I will drop it in the comment plus four one um, seven seven zero two two zero six six four six or you can send me um, a, a private message either on Instagram or on Facebook, but only serious people will be responded to. Nice to have you on. Thanks for joining me. Join me again. Um, for everyone who joined me from India, from South Africa, from Nigeria, uh, from Zurich, Switzerland, and any other place, USA, those who are going to watch the replay, let's know your name and where you're joining from. Together, we bring hope now to our world. Let's make this year a year of successful relationships. Like I always say, you are as successful as your relationships. So you need to focus on this aspect of your life, okay? Look forward to seeing you again next Saturday. Love Love your family and see you again. Take care. Please don't forget to share the videos and invite as many as you can to join us for other episodes. Love you all. See you family. Take care of you.